Hi everyone! Welcome again to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my presentation. Our topic for today is the mediolateral view of mammogram. Mediolateral view of mammogram. Okay, always remember in mammogram, we have 5P. Proper planning and preparation leads to perfect positioning. In a medial oblique mammogram, we have initial setup. Reduce the height of the IR slightly from the CC view and angle the tube head to 50 degrees. But it depends on the body habitus of the patient. Later on, we will discuss about the uh, angulation of the tube. Okay? So, uh, adjust the IR in accordance with the height of the client. It is now of vital importance that the correct angle of the IR is selected. Suboptimal positioning and incorrect angle selection could result in excessive compression force being applied to the chest wall or axilla. This may cause unnecessary discomfort to the client and result in adequate compression of the breast. Okay, uh, this image is the correct IR angle selection. Okay, uh, this is from hypersthenic to sthenic to hyposthenic, then to anesthetic habitus. So, uh, angle selection of the uh, mediolateral oblique view is a skill and refinement of the angle selected with the required true positioning. In the first instance, a quick observation of the body habitus okay, of the client will provide a rule indication and enable you to select an appropriate angle to comments. Okay? Okay, uh, this image is the angle positioning for varying body habitus. These parallel lines is the illustra illustrating correct IR angle selection. Okay, this is the client would require, require a 45 to 50 degree angle of the IR. And this one is 50 to 55 angle IR. And this one is 55 to 60 degrees uh, angle of the IR for the hyposthenic to asthenic body habitus. Okay? Okay. Uh... Okay, incorrect angle selections for the mediolateral oblique will lead to an even compression force, balance which could increase the levels of pain for the client due to the higher pressure points. Okay, this uh, image is the footprint of the breast, which the right side, mediolateral oblique, with the client positions at an incorrect. 45 degree angle selections and a correct selected 55 degree angle which highlights correct compressions force balance okay okay next is we are here in the mediolateral view step by step guide in mammogram first image this image is the client position for mediolateral oblique. Following on from correct angle selections for stability, ask the client to face the machine with feet hips width apart. Standing behind the client, place your hand at the bottom of the rib cage of the side being image. Move the clients forwards until your fingertips are just touching the front and bottom 
aspect of the IR. The client will be about a hand's width back from the IR. Height adjustment of the mammogram unit can now commence. Adjust the level of the axilla in the first instance. Rest the arm of the client along the top of the IR, image receptor. Okay? Okay, now, next is the, this image is the supporting the breast and the arm. Standing at 90 degree to the client, place your hand to the lateral aspect of the breast and place your other arm in the supported position around her back. Using the natural mo mobility of the breast, lift the breast with one hand and guide the client in the machine with your other hand. Concurrently, ask the client to bend from their waist and lean towards the side of the IR. Move around to the back of the client and position her arm. Position her arm, lifting it upwards, gently reaching the shoulders over the IR. Adjust the height of the machine. The corner of the IR should be seated into the axilla. Mid-axillary line between the lati latissimus dorsi muscle and pec pectoral muscle. Or in the space if the axilla is hollow. Next image is the client arm position. The client can drape her arm over the IR. The rest her hand on the handle of the equipment. But not grabs too tightly as this will cause the pectoral muscle to tense. Ensure the arm of the client is not higher than their shoulder and check that the pectoral muscle is flat and not overstretched. Okay, uh, next image is the practitioner ergonomic position. Following on return to the front of the client and sit on an appropriate stool for correct ergonomic positioning. Now ask the client to relax down onto the IR and gentle ease the shoulder backwards and with both hands carefully pull the breast through onto the IR. The breast should be centrally placed in the IR with the corner of the compression spaddle to be seated just below the head of the humerus. Adjust the column height accordingly if required. Sweep your hand down the back of the breast from the axilla to the inframammary angle, checking for creases and ensuring all breast tissues is fold on. Ensure the client's hip are back and smooth in the inframammary angle. Ask the client to push her hips back slightly if the abdomen is protruding. Using the ha your hand, hand lift the breast up and away from the chest wall. The breast is to image of 90 degree to the chest wall. The nipple should be in propel with no air gaps between the breast and the IR. Slowly apply compression force slowly and evenly, moving your hands towards the nipple as the compression spaddle takes over the hand. If possible uh, and available on the equipment, the hand compression dial should be used to allow a slow measured compression force applications. Okay, uh, this image is the hand supported positioning. When supporting the breast tissue under compressions to ensure effective positioning, different hand position can be used which may reduce your risk of possible repetitive strain injuries. Okay. Okay, this image is the ide ideal positioning. Okay. Uh, always remember, ask the client to hold her other breast away from the field of view if required and raise her chin slightly. 
The top of the compression paddle should sit just below the clavicle, head of the humerus, and the inner edge alongside the sternum. The breast should be compressed until equal compression force balance with paddle and IR is achieved. The breast may feel taut and immobile. Immobile, client consistency between sequential attendances is imperative, and the compression force could be standard, standardized between 90 to 130 newtons of force. Apply smaller force if the client experiences discomfort, larger forces if the breast is not immobile. Ensure the inframammary angles is open and free from skin folds and perform a last check to ensure no artifacts are present on the image like clients here, chins and knuckles. Okay, the last is perform the exposure. Following automatic compression release, lower the height of the column slightly prior to the imaging opposing side. This allows for effective breast and shoulder placement. Okay, always remember that the mammogram images um, are compared of subtle changes and practitioners need to ensure their images are of high quality and cons consistent with their peers. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, I hope you gained some knowledge in this video. Hope you like it. Please like and subscribe for more updates and topics. Thank you for watching, guys.